<laughs> In one of my bags that I'm calling halfway house things, things that I've thrown aside but not thrown away, I came across this. I can't think of what I was doing there. It's a pair of socks, which is wishing you happy birthday. It's uh, St. Michael, which is Marks and Spencer's, three ninety nine. it was at the price, and it plays Happy Birthday. Let's have a go and see if it still works. Just about. And then it plays it the second time, which you don't need to hear. So, what am I going to do with the socks, for goodness sake? Well, I'd better suppose, take them out and put them on sometime or other. What it's doing in that halfway house thing, I do not know, but there we are. Here's something which is much more obviously in a halfway house, because what on earth do you do with that, for goodness sake? It's, it's quite a nice noise, too. And a closed peg, so you put it on your ear, perhaps, and go some jigging or there. I thought of putting it on my cap. If I ever went jogging, I could do that on my cap as, you're, as I'm jogging along, like that, to warn pedestrians I'm coming up behind them to overtake them or something like that. So it's something that's waiting for someone to come up with inspiration as to what to do with it. Put them on all, each of your fingers and all the toes, and you've got something about that. She will have to build wherever she music wherever she goes. It's a bizarre thing, and I can't think who gave it to me or why I've got it, but I can't throw it away. It's it's got possibilities, I feel, and can't be thrown away. Yeah, and another one which I've put aside, which is called Nightlight. Here's the actual blurb that comes with it. It's for fishing, which I don't do, at night time, which I wouldn't do, and all it consists of is a little LED and a long, long wire. And batteries you have to provide, so I'll turn it on. There we are. And the idea is you put it over the top of the rod and right down the line and have it in the water at night time to attract fish. Well, within a short time, I suppose the LEDs came on, were well, developed to the point in which they were able to have ones as small as that, not needing batteries, but tiny, tiny little button batteries, so small you could put the whole thing encapsulated in, into and attach it to the baits on the, on the fish for nighttime fishing. And so this is definitely past its sell by date. I can't throw it away. There's something I should be doing with it. Whirl it in the air of the night and see if I can get a ring of fire or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, it's, that's, it's going to sit there for a bit longer yet before I come up with inspiration for it. There's another one here which I've never tried, which is they're quite clever, this actually. It's, uh, it's one of those joke things, caps, where they have a very strong glue, which I have to say when I tested it, it was hopeless because it's decayed after all those years. And you put it on a hard floor. It's got that very, very powerful glue inside, but it's decayed. You put it on the floor, and when people try to pick it up, it won't move. It's absolutely stuck on the floor. So it's a nice little practical joke to play on people. But I haven't used it, and now that the glue's gone, I don't think I can use it. Perhaps I can find some more glue, but I'd stop saying, well, I don't think I'd do that. No good on carpets. It's got to be a hard floor to make it work. Oh, well, there we are. Then there's a very strange item here, the old pyramid thing, which came out in the 1970s. One of our one of our suppliers of wonderful kaleidoscopes swears by this pyramid power. It's a sort of bit of, it's, it's got a label of pseudoscience about it, so it's a, bit, it's a bit dodgy. But the idea is you put things underneath it, and in his case, he had a huge one which helped him to his meditation. This one, you're supposed to put things underneath it to preserve them. And I made a note here that um, I was told that if you put a razor blade under it, I shave with a razor blade, and put it underneath it, it makes it last much longer. And I quoted that it lasted me 12 weeks from the 7th of July, 79, 26th of September. Thereafter, the lasting time got shorter and shorter to the point at which I stopped using it. So pyramid energy, for those who believe in it, can do amazing things. It's got no scientific base that I know of, but there it is, and it's in that halfway house. Throw it out or not throw it out, I don't know. I can't bear to do it. And there's a very interesting one, which I'm going to have a go at resurrecting, which is the um, old hand warmer, which is a beautiful. This is, this is a very antique thing. It's, um, it's, it's, it's petrol driven. The modern hand warmers are those very nice chemical ones which you can recharge. So this one here has got a bottom bit which is full of cotton wool and you have to put lighter fuel in it, that liquid like a fuel, uh, and then uh, set it to light here and blow it out. And when it's just glowing like that, you put that on top of it and it's still too hot to hold. So you put it inside that and it lasts for about 12 or 24 hours. And the package tells you all about how to use it. So I think I've got to try that, but it's a little bit tricky with all the gas lighters, all the lighters are working on gas nowadays, but there might be a few old um, smoke, smokers uh, shops, especially the shops in London where I can still get some of the petrol they use for it. So something to try, but look at the old packaging. 
It came out in the 1950s, I think, probably, this thing here. Let's see if I can get it in. Uh, there we are. And on the back, it shows you what you're supposed to use, the people who, who use it, of course, which is this crowd of people here. There was a halfway house between this and the modern one, which I've also come across in the same bag, just to mention in passing, which is chemicals, but the uh, ones you use up. Uh, and then one thing, this is a Japanese version. And what's the contents here? It's got it's got iron powder, 16%, and charcoal power, powder, 84%. When you mix the two together, it's well known by chemists, it gives off tremendous very exothermic heat. But uh, once it's used, it's used, and you have to throw it away, unlike these modern ones where you can recharge them. So that was a halfway house between this, this sort of thing, working on fuel, and the modern ones. That uh, I don't think I want to use that, because once it's used, it's used. I have to keep it forever and ever. But this one I could reuse if I ever was bothered to. It's just a bit of fun to try it out. So I must keep searching through those bags, because they do contain little gems sometimes that I feel ought to be brought up to the light of day. Halfway house.